Days and fans in the taste of the finished fried rice. Have you ever experienced this? This time, I will show you how to easily make restaurant lover fried rice using this chashu. If you haven't seen chashu video, check it out. I recommended watching it at twice the speed as it is a bit long. <laughs> Then, itadashai 250 gram washed rice. 300 cc water, 2 teaspoon chicken broth powder, 1 teaspoon soy sauce, and 1 teaspoon oil. Mix and cook rice. After cooking, taste it. And if you think the taste is a little weak, it's okay. Add pepper mix and cool. This is the first tip. I'll explain why later so you don't miss it. Chop the ginger. Japanese fried rice basically does not use garlic. If garlic is used, it becomes garlic rice, not fried rice. Slice the green onion, separating the green part from the white part. The first tip for making delicious fried rice is to cook the rice with seasonings. By doing this, the flavor will soak into the rice evenly, and you will be able to minimize the time and effort of adding seasoning while stir frying. Minimal stir frying time prevents the eggs and other ingredients from losing moisture, and adding oil when cooking the rice and cooling the rice before. Who are stuff frying greatly reduce the difficulty of creating a restaurant like fried rice. Cut chashu into bite sized pieces. Bacon can also be used as a substitute, but I recommend it using chashu because it will be very delicious if you make it with chashu. Mix well. One technique for making restaurant like fried rice is to mix rice and eggs, but I do not recommend it. This is because the egg loses its presence as an ingredient. Add 3 tablespoons oil and ginger and heat over medium heat. When bubbles begin to appear from the ginger, add the chashu. Ginger and pork are a great combination. The ginger masks the aroma of the pork. When the chashu fat melts, add the white part of the green onion and stir fry lightly. By adding green onions, you can give the oil a green onion flavor. Drain oil in a colander. Stir fry fried rice in this oil that contains the flavor of ginger, green onion, and chashu. Heat over high heat. At high temperature, stir fry hands. No, just kidding. Check that it has reached a high temperature and add the oil in which the chashu was fried. Add the eggs immediately and mix quickly. Add 250 g of rice. And stir fry while pressing it against the pan. Can you see that parapara para at this point? Parapara para is a Japanese word that describes this look and texture with neither too much nor too little water or oil. Add the chashu and green part of green onion and stir fry. The second tip is don't shake your pan too much. The heat power of a household stove is less powerful than that of a restaurant stove. If you keep it away from the heat while mixing, it will take longer to stir fry, and the moisture in the rice and eggs will be lost, resulting in an unappetizing finish. To finish, sprinkle one stroke to tablespoon soy sauce around the edge of the pan and mix quickly. The third tip is to pour soy sauce over the edge of the pan at the finish. Which allows the soy sauce to evaporate quickly and add the savory aroma and flavor of soy sauce to the fried rice without wetting the rice. Itadakimasu! Hmm, it smells so good! Look at this! Can you see that it's finished to a para para? The ingredients are moist and the rice is a para para. It's perfect! Restaurant love of fried rice at its finest. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.